Israeli prime ministers and politicians changed their names to make themselves sound more indigenous to the land, even though they're all from Europe. Benjamin Netanyahu is actually called Benjamin Milekowski, and he traces his roots back to Philadelphia and Poland. I can play this game too. Where was Yasser Arafat, the first president of the Palestinians from? I'll give you a second. Cairo, Egypt. Where was Ahmad Soukari from, the first chairman of the PLO? Lebanon. It's true that Bibi's family name was Milkowski, but I'm gonna give you a quick history lesson, and spoiler alert, it's not on your side. If you follow Bibi's family back enough generations, you will end up back in the land of Israel where last names were not a thing. People went by their first name, then the word Ben or Bat, and then the name of one of their parents. For example, I am Yaakov Ben Yaniv, Jacob's son of Yaniv. However, when the Romans kicked the Jews out in 70 CE, many of them escaped to Europe, where unfortunately, they were forced to adopt a European-style last name. For example, in 1787, Emperor Joseph II of the Austrian Empire forced all of the Jews to adopt German surnames. It's funny, you wear a hijab. I assume you're a Muslim. I thought you would know this because you guys also don't have traditional last names and many Muslims who moved to Europe had to do the exact same thing. So moral of the story is on a technicality, you're right. Milkowski isn't an Israelite last name. However, there's a saying, you shouldn't throw stones out of a glass house. If we trace your lineage back enough, pretty sure we'd end up in Arabia. Do with that info what you will.